What's up guys, this is Nate24 the Great back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm talking about Fort Nightmares 2023. And honestly, this Fort Nightmares is not even too bad. Um, I thought it was going, I thought for sure it was gonna end up like the summer event, the 14 days of summer where we literally didn't get anything new and it was all just returning stuff that we always have and we basically had no content. But the, the Halloween event this year is actually pretty good. Um, the skins are really good. We have several new skins. And then as well, we have uh, some popular collabs. You know, Michael Myers, Jack Skellington. Um, you know, everyone's excited for Michael Myers. I'll tell you that. And M Jack Skellington is up there too. Uh, Michael Myers is just so iconic, especially to be in Fortnite. Um, but otherwise, gameplay wise, Kato Thorn, uh, he turned into a vampire, and we can get into his like time machine vault now. So basically, we have a new boss, um, and I did fight him already. Uh, he has really cool like animations, and the fight against him is actually pretty difficult. I'm not gonna lie, um, but it's really cool to be able to like um, his fight is very cool to say the least. Uh, and then once you kill him. He drops Midas's drum gun and a new mythic katana. Uh, this katana, I have not had a chance to use it very much, um, but it does uh, it's like siphon. So like if you hit people with it, you get a small amount of health back. And then, you know, Midas's drum gun we've all used before. Uh, nothing new there. Uh, but still, uh, you know, new katana. Well, sort of new katana. We already had the katana before, but, you know, it's like an improved version of it, a mythic version of it. And then we have a new boss, the time machine, which is very cool to actually have on the Fortnite map. And then we have um, a new shotgun as well. Uh, the steak shotgun or something like that. I don't even know. Um, at first, I was not a huge fan of it, but I think I'm starting to get used to it. And it's actually not too bad. Um, so, you know, it's nice to have a new weapon there. And then we have the witch broom and candy returning as well. So, you know, nice to have the witch broom, even though we have the rocket ram, but you know, it's whatever. And then the witch broom got a new red effect, uh, this update. Nothing too crazy, though. Uh, it still works the same. And then for the challenges, we actually have a good amount of free rewards. Uh, the challenges are broke up into horde rush which is amazing that that returned and uh br challenges uh and what's interesting is that the horde rush ltm when they brought it back it had more players than the zero build mode or than the ranked mode and that just goes to show you that the fortnite player base we like having the ltms available but fortnite just continues to not push out new ltms and not focus on anything like that which is really just a bummer um but either way you know the rewards this uh season for for nightmares are actually pretty good and the content wise is actually pretty good too however we have very minimal map changes this whole season we've had very minimal map changes uh you know nothing cues um and there's no like secret easter eggs anymore either like the gnomes or the you know like the slow building of uh buildings or whatever across the map even those tiny things were better than what we have now because we have like nothing now i don't even know if we have any halloween decorations on the map it's probably like a few uh, like pumpkins with the candy in it across the map and that's it when I want what I want is Halloween decorations everywhere put like spider webs up across the map or something put the um, you know the spider webs that were in the daily bugle put those like in the jungle or something and then put a giant like spider prop on the tree let me cook epic okay I know what I'm doing. Just decorate everything up, okay? We want to feel in that really spooky mood, you know? Um, and it's nice to have, you know, a vampire on the map. Because uh, he is... Or, well, is he a vampire? Or is he a bat? He's a... Wait. 
Okay, I don't know my Halloween, okay? But let me cook anyway. We have, you know, spookiness on the map with the new boss, Kato Thorns, vampire style or uh, whatever. You know, he's on the map, which is pretty cool. Um, but decoration wise, just step it up a notch, please. Um, and then, you know, weapon wise, not too bad. Cosmetic wise, we got some good cosmetics. And then, you know, all the returning cosmetics as well. Uh, definitely better than the summer event, I'll say that. Um, and I'm really excited to see what they do for Winterfest, because I love Winterfest so much. I can't wait to see uh, what they do for that. I hope we get an LTM for Winterfest, because that would go crazy. Uh, if we just had like a new LTM release, everyone would be so hyped, okay? Hear me out, Epic. Make more LTMs, please. Please, I'm begging you. Um, so i think that's it for today's video that's pretty much it let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this fort nightmares and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good day and i'll see you later peace